Authenticating your domain allows the servers of the world to know that, in fact, you are who you say you are. It can help with deliverability, and it's just best practice. The additional benefit is that whenever you contact your email service provider like MailerLite, one of the first things they might ask you about is if you authenticated your domain when discussing deliverability, of course. And here's how you can do that. To authenticate your domain, go to account setting right over here and either click domains here or use the domains tab here. Then you can add your domain by using this button or you can use one of the domains you have already added here. I'm going to use remotecreator.com and then you can just click authenticate. And here is what you need to add to your DNS records. The DKIM create a CNAME record for light srv dot underscore domain key dot remote creator dot com and then add this string as the value so i'm going to just copy this string right over here since these parts are very similar i can then just easily copy this when i'm at my registrar then you go to your registrar this doesn't have to be where you're actually hosting your website this can be just a place where you registered your domain and where you're managing your domain so you look for the domain you want to use. In my case, it's remotecreator.com. And then you try to look for some settings. In my case, it's details. I scroll down and here I have DNS records. For you, it can be DNS zone or manage DNSs, something like this. The company I use is Porkbun. It has a really funny name, um, but they are really fast and the app works extremely well. So I'm gonna click now edit for the DNS records. And now I can choose the type. I have different types, but I want to use CNAME because that's what MailerLite was asking for. Here is the host. So I'm going to paste this in here and I'm just going to delete this back part because this is just the value that I'll be putting in here. But in both cases, this part and this part was supposed to be the same with the difference being that here it's .mlsend.com and here is my actual domain. In your domain registrar company, you might have to actually add this. This might not be added automatically. So just try it out. And if you have problems, try talking with your registrar and give them this information. All right, when you're done, just click add. And there we go. If I scroll down, I should be able to find the CNAME. And here it is right over here. Now I can scroll up. I can go back to my MailerLite account and now create a text record for remotecreator.com and use this information for the value. So again, I'm going to my registrar, type text remote.com. So I'll leave this empty this time and answer is the string that I copied and click add. Then I can scroll down and make sure it has been added. Here it is, text remotecreator.com. And here's the information I added from my account. Now I'll go back to MailerLite and now I can check the DNS records. Now, if this happens, you just want to make sure you added everything correctly. You can go back to your registrar and check if the way you did it is the way it's supposed to be done. You can contact your support there. And also you can check if this information is correct. Now, if all fails, you might have to wait 24 hours because DNS settings actually become active worldwide depending on your provider. So it can be either quicker or a little more slower. In the case of my registrar, it's usually pretty fast. But in this case, like we saw, I just clicked it and it didn't update yet. I'll check it again. There we go. One is ready. And then I can just go ahead and wait a little longer for the other one. But it's also good to read these texts over here because sometimes there is an error that you can fix yourself. For example, this says I have more than one record and that I should remove all the other ones and leave only one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my DNS records. If I scroll down, I indeed see that I have more. Here is another one. So let me delete this one here. It's asking me if I'm sure. Yes, I am. I deleted it. I go back to my MailerLite account, check DNS records again. And if that doesn't work, again, go to your DNS records, 
see if there's something similar. I can see that this is actually the one I added. So this is the wrong one. I'll delete this one here. Again, confirm it. And now if I go back and check the DNS records, it works. And the domain is authenticated. Now, please remember, this doesn't always go as fast as I just did this. Uh, it's just because my provider is really quick with these kind of things. With your provider, you might have to contact them or sometimes even wait 24 hours. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.